Good evening, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be eating India. So this will be my first tasting of India, and it was graciously sent to me by Little Miss S. So lovely Miss S now lives in the U.S., but originally she's from India. She says the north and south of India are like two different countries. We look different, we dress differently, and speak different languages, and eat different foods. Northern Indians mostly eat wheat, and in the south they mostly eat rice. So the last time Little Miss S went home, she brought me back all of these treats for me. She told her grandmother about me and what I do, and she said that her grandma said that I should make sure I brush my teeth after eating all those sweets. <laughs> so sweet. Thank you so much, Little Miss S. And let's go ahead and get started on the tasting. So the first thing I want to try is this. This is called Rasgulla. I'm sorry about my terrible Hindi pronunciation. Indian friends, please excuse it. So this is called Rasgulla. This looks like a kind of dessert. It says it's soft cottage cheese dumplings with rose flavored sugar syrup. That sounds amazing. So let's open this. It's so handy. It just comes in this tin and you just open it like this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. There's a, so there's the treat. Oh my gosh. So it's just oozing with syrup. Looks like it's the same in the middle. Ooh, I do smell some rose. All right, let's give it a taste. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Wow! Very, 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 very sweet. But very rose-like. Wow, how interesting. It has a very interesting texture. It's kind of squishy and spongy. And it's just soaked with this rose-flavored syrup. It's a very interesting dessert because you get some of those oily flavors that you get from a donut. But then it's just soaked in this sugar syrup of rose. Very, very interesting combination and very, very sweet. In terms of level of sweetness and flavor, it reminds me a little bit of Turkish Delight because it has that sweetness and that rose flavor to it. But in texture, it's completely different. Very interesting. So now that we had something sweet, let's do something savory. And let's have this one. And this is called Kakure, and this is a masala munch. And it looks like a Cheeto-like snack. There are the snacks, and it looks just like a Cheeto but has a little more brown flecks rather than just being bright orange. All right, let's give it a taste. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Oh! It's got the same crunch and texture of a Cheeto, a crunchy Cheeto, nice and hard and crunchy with a corn base. Flavor is completely different. This has some sour notes, salty, a little bit of sweetness, definitely some spice, and at the very end, some heat. I love it. Next we have a cookie and it's made by Sunfest and this is called Dark Fantasy Choco Fills. Sounds amazing. So let's open that up. They're individually wrapped. How cute, look at that. Oh, how sweet, look at this little cookie. Oh, mm-hmm. And that's lovely, it's just a cookie biscuit and the inside has a chocolate filling in the middle, a bit like chocolate frosting. The outside cookie is chocolate flavored as well and has kind of the crumbly, buttery texture of like a Nilla wafer. It's great, nice and chocolatey. The filling is really nice and chocolatey as well. Katamita. Haldavan's Katamita. It's a sweet and spicy blend of noodles, puffed rice, green peas, and peanuts. Wow, it sounds great. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, let's give it a taste. So I was expecting a savory snack, so when I put it in my mouth, the first thing I experience is sweetness. It's sweet, and then it's got a little bit of sourness, it's salty, and then you've got this really nice kind of spice blend in there. It tastes a little bit of cumin, maybe a little coriander. It's delicious. I love it. I had a similar snack like this in my Emmy Eats Bangladesh video, so if you missed that video, I'll put that link down below. But Really delightful, and I think would really go well with a nice icy beer. <laughs> Next, let's have another cookie, and this is called Creams. It's made by the company Parlay, and these are gold chocolate flavored sandwich biscuits. Listen, and there they are inside. Very cute patterning on there. And it looks on the inside, looks like it's chocolate. Mmm! Mmm! I was really surprised by the texture of that. I was expecting the firmness and the crispness of something more like an Oreo cookie. But this is actually much lighter and has a much flakier texture. I was also expecting to have a strong kind of chocolate punch, 
but it to me tastes a little bit more vanilla artificial vanilla granted but more vanilla flavor with a little bit of chocolate but i think what is really delightful is the crunch of it it's very kind of soft and flaky so little miss s also sent me some lace potato chips but sadly they got squashed en route like terribly squashed <laughs> so i won't be able to eat those she included indian magic masala and chile limon but this one didn't get squashed so let's have this one and this is the west indies hot and sweet chili here we go Mmm, that is quite sweet for potato chip. Mmm, it's good though. It has the same exact texture as a Ruffles potato chip. Kind of a light, roughly crunch. It's quite sweet and very garlicky. And then at the very end, you get a little bit of heat. Scrumptious. Let's try another canned dessert. This is called Gulab Jamun. And this is a soft cottage cheese dumpling with cardamom flavored sugar syrup. Ah, sounds amazing. <laughs> wow. And just like the rasgula, these are spheres, but these are brown instead. Ugh, I love how glossy they are. Oh, similar kind of, oh, a little bit different texture than the rasgula, a little denser, but still soaked in syrup. This one smells nice too, floral as well. All right, let's give that a taste. Mmm. Mmm. I like this one better. This one too has a little bit of a floral flavor as well. It tastes more of that cardamom and it's soaked with a very, very sweet sugar syrup. But I like the texture of this one better. This one seems like it might have some cornmeal or something in it. It's a little more denser. It reminds me a little bit of like a hush puppy or that kind of a dumpling. It's very, very sweet but has a really lovely perfume to it. Mmm. This is called Alu Bujia. And this is another Haldoram's mix. And this is spicy potato noodles. Ooh, it smells nice and curried as well. Oh, it's so delightful. So cute. It has a beautiful orange yellow color to it. It's light and crispy. It reminds me of uncooked ramen. Mmm, it's like a really well seasoned potato chip. <laughs> It has a different crunch, of course, than a potato chip. It has a potato flavor along with a really nice spice blend. You definitely taste the potato in there, but you taste a ton of other flavors as well. When you first taste, it's a little bit sour and salty, and then you start tasting some of the spices. A little bit of coriander, a little bit of cumin, a little bit of cardamom, I think, and salt, and then you get a fried flavor as well. It's delightful. Indian friends do tell me if there's a better way of eating it instead of just dropping it into my gullet. I feel like I'm being, you know, ogress. <laughs> it's delicious. So the next item I have is this, and this is another cookie. It's made by Good Day, and it's called Pista Almond Cookie. It looks great. Here it is. Very sweet looking cookie. And it's a very simple kind of buttery cookie. I don't taste too much almond, but I do feel a little bit of pistachio kind of ground in there. So I do feel it in the texture. But in terms of flavor, it just tastes more of like an almond butter cookie. But it's great. I'm gonna dip it in my tea. Mmm. And of course, even better when dipped into hot tea. Delicious. Mmm. So let's have another Haldoram's mix, and this is the Kashmiri mixture. This one has a little Ziploc top up here. Pour some in here. Ooh, this one has, oh, look at that. Look how fine those little threads are. All right, let's give this a taste. Here we go. <laughs> that was a disaster. Mmm, <laughs> that was great. I love the inclusion of the big cashews in there. Really adds a nice crunch and richness to the whole mixture. The texture of this crunch is a lot lighter and finer than some of the other ones. This is not nearly as sweet as the katamita, and it doesn't have as much of a curried kind of flavor than the alu bujia. But having said that, it's still very nicely seasoned. Delicious. Mm-hmm. I have one more canned dessert, and this one's a classic Indian rasmalai. Oh boy. So these dumplings are not spherical. Beautiful. It has a similar texture to the rasgula. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 
To me, this is very similar to the Rasgula. It has a similar kind of spongy texture to it, and it's soaked in this rose-flavored syrup, so it's very, very, very sweet, but quite pleasant. There's a little bit of a textural difference in the sense that it feels like there's a little bit of maybe ground nuts or something in there. Mmm, and there is a bit of a richness in there as well. Very interesting dessert, and this is called 2020, and this is a cashew butter cookie. So let's give that a taste. Oh, look at that beautiful pattern. Love that. Mmm. It's a flaky, crumbly, buttery cookie that has a nice kind of coconut flavor to it. I don't taste any cashew in there per se, but it's delicious. Light and buttery, and I think perfect with tea. All right, so that wraps up my little taste of India. Thank you so much, Little Miss S, for sending me this beautiful package of Indian treats. And thank you guys so much. I wouldn't be here without you. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. They say four to six, but I mean, really, you can't do four. Let's do the little rainbow, guys. Right. <laughs>